This morning I woke up and uh, opened up my Moomoo app on my cell phone and discovered that Caribou Biosciences was up some 5% in pre-market. But as the market opened, it went uh, down and is up less than 2%. And yet, when I went to the news on my Moomoo app, it told me that Caribou has just been fast-tracked for a drug that they have that is going to potentially cure or take out of the body non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And this is a form of cancer. And I looked further and I found that 609,360 people died from cancer last year in the United States. This is a big thing. And yet the stock is up less than 2% today. What if that had been something that Elon had tweeted and said that he had a new Gidget that went on his tracker for his radar on his Tesla car. What, how much do you think Tesla stock would go up? And yet, Caribou's up less than 2%. I think I have discovered an undervalued asset and I want to share it with you. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Let me start by disclosing I do hold Caribou stock in my portfolio. I have about a thousand shares in it and I've held it for quite some period of time because I am a strong believer in genome therapy, genome sequencing, genome editing and I think it's going to change the world. I think it'll be the biggest change in the world in my lifetime. I think it'll dwarf the digital revolution. So when I saw this article in the uh, on my Moomoo app and then I went to uh, the Caribou's uh, website and I looked at their press release that they put out this morning and here is a copy of it. Uh, I realized that what I have been dreaming about uh, that uh, genome sequencing and genome editing and genome therapy was going to become a part of our lives uh, that hey here we go this is really going to take off and uh, and it hasn't and it's it's all because um, it isn't followed heavily by the the talking heads on TV or uh, the talking heads on YouTube it's kind of an underground um, fervor of some Something's happening and it's going to be big, but it's not going to be big next week. It's not going to change your life this week. And so it doesn't get a lot of attention. And I think it deserves a lot of attention. So what I did was go to Seeking Alpha and I want to share with you um, uh, the, the, the basic where it stands now. As you can see here on this screenshot of the Seeking Alpha, uh, it's down about 48% this year. It's, uh, uh, st it's selling for $8.81 at this time. It's been as high as somewhere around $26. It's got a market cap of $533 million. It, it doesn't do a lot of volume. It does 151,000 shares. It doesn't pay a dividend. In fact, it doesn't make any money. But it is a stock that is on the cutting edge uh, particularly in non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And what I'm aware of, and, and I'm aware of it because I have family members who have died of cancer, that 609,360 people last year in the United States died of cancer. That's 1,670 per day. That's in the United States. So this is a big thing. I think this is bigger than electric vehicles. I think it's bigger than uh, traveling to Mars or anything of that nature. But I don't think the market has recognized it as the change it's going to be. To give you some representation, I've looked into it. I've read Walter Isaacson's book, The Code Breaker. I've studied Jennifer Doudna and Emmanuel D. Carpentier. And I know that a Jennifer uh, Doudna, who is the co-winner of the 2020 
um, Nobel Peace Prize for cancer, is, a, is on the advisory board of Caribou. So I'm confident that these are some of the best minds that are working on this and that Caribou will be a leader in this field. Now, it's not fared well. As I said, it's down some 46%. But I think that just is an indication to you now is the time to buy it. I would compare this to um, Amazon in 2000. It had been up to $97 a share, and then in the dot-com bubble, it went down to $9.75 a share. Lost 90% of its value, but you see what it is today. It is the leader in e-commerce. I believe that Caribou and Editus and um, Beam and some of the others that I've shared with you in my portfolio, in fact I did that just yesterday, uh, are going to be the leaders in this field and beyond that I think it is going to be probably bigger than the digital revolution. Well, what does that mean? We pumped into our economy 22 trillion dollars of asset value as a result of the digital revolution. That's seen in the value of Apple of Amazon, of Microsoft, in all the things that the digital revolution produced. Well, it's projected that the uh, health cure revolution, the uh, genome sequencing, genome editing will be twice that. So now we're looking at something like $42 trillion into our economy. I did a video just the other day that I came to the realization, I'm down at the beach right now and I see this community that has just grown since we first came down here from literally nothing to where houses, you can't buy a house in this beach community for less than $2 million. And that's just a small cottage. And it all is a result of two things. One, the government pumping some $32 trillion into our economy and increasing our money supply. And that assets going to people who drove the digital revolution and came down here and built these homes and are continue to, continuing to build them as fast as I, they can. That was created as a result in the, uh, the increase in our money supply, the leveraging of that increase in our money supply, and I can see it physically here in this community. So I hear that and I say that, well, the projection is that the change that will occur as a result of genome sequencing and genome editing in our economy will be twice that of the digital revolution. I think, where is this all going? And why, when the federal government, the FDA, says to Caribou, we're going to put you on fast track because we recognize the importance of your drug, of what you're creating, and how it's going to change the world. And so you have greater access to us, the FDA, when anything you can put in front of us that will convince us that you can put a needle in Carrie's arm and take the, the cancer that his ancestors have passed down to him and take it out of his body. As soon as you can do that, Caribou, we'll make your drug available to the world and we'll fast track the cure for cancer, for heart disease, for Alzheimer's, for Parkinson's, you name it. Is that bigger than electronic vehicles? Is that bigger than the digital revolution? I would ask you, which would you rather have? This, this phone? This is what the product of the digital revolution is, or a cure for your child's cancer. The choice is yours. Which would you take? Come on, answer my question. Which would you take? A new phone, a new Tesla, or a cure for cancer for your children, your grandchildren, to take it out of their bodies? Then you tell me. Why is Caribou up less than 2% today? Because the world doesn't know about it. It's an undiscovered asset. And if you aren't investing in it, 
Shame on you. Shame on what you are looking past for your ancestors. You need to own $8,000 worth of caribou that is going to turn into $8 million. You watch. If I live long enough, I'm going to put it in your face. Today's the day. The FDA recognized it. Now it's your turn. Okay, that's what this channel's all about. That's what I want to bring you. I want to help you discover undiscovered assets of little, of small recognition of their value today, but with massive potential. Yeah, you might see Tesla back up to $400 a share, but I can almost guarantee you Caribou's at $8.80 today. It'll be at $880 within the next five years. And if you don't buy it, okay, I told you, and I'll tell you more tomorrow. Mm -hmm.